Okay, so I've got a million other questions. The the lack of sleep and its effect on yeah. cognition. It, it, I think I asked you. I'm sure I asked you this last time, but I, I have this sense that sleep may actually sleep sustained long term sleep deprivation may have really significant absolutely sus, like damaging effects on the yeah brain. there's so many reasons there's so many ways that it damages the brain um, the brain of a chronically sleep deprived deprived person looks an awful lot like the brain of a depressed person first of all. Um, we're discovering more and more about the, the sort of mechanism of sleep and what it actually does. Um, there was a study out a few months ago that um, found that the cerebral spinal fluid actually washes the brain like a car wash and hmm. washes out metabolic byproducts when we're sleeping. Hmm. And if you don't sleep, metabolic byproducts, toxins build up in the brain. Oh, that's interesting. And so it's literally washing the brain at night, you know, this sort of, you know, dissolving all the toxins and washing them out the, through the, the CSF. Um, Certain uh, timing uh, and other uh, oscillatory mechanisms in the brain. I don't mean like brainwave oscillatory, but like rhythmic cycles like circadian rhythms and ultradian rhythms and infradian rhythms. These rhythms that happen, you know, as short as about 30 minutes and as long as about a month in in humans. And all of these things are somewhat uh, timed by our sleeping as well, Hmm. Um, especially when we we wake up. I mean, our circadian rhythm is to some extent driven by the frequencies of light we get in the morning. That's how our brain knows it's morning because there's that special bandwidth of light available to our eyes first thing in the morning. Um, and so without that entrainment, without the brain sleeping for you know six to eight hours a night and um, having the restorative recovery, growth, and repair, but also having, you know, dropping cortisol and stress hormones, um, but also being entrained, I, I call it photo period entrainment, being, having your 24-hour clock and the Earth's 24-hour clock synced is incredibly important for performance as well as health. 